The first time I went to the Michigan, I just did not expect the experience that I was sharing with everyone. I went by myself, but you know, the organ is playing and I had no idea this was a regular thing. I thought, my God, this is, this is an event that, that's, that's going on here. And you felt like you were part of a shared experience. And then every time I had an opportunity to do something with friends or people who I was introducing to the area, the Michigan, uh, even before Zingerman's, <laughs> the Michigan was the place I would take them because you just cannot go anywhere and find a theater experience like that. And it's been a big part of my friendships, it's been a big part of my you know, relationship with my wife, and it's just been a, a big part of, of uh, getting me to feel like a part of the member of the community. Ann Arbor, Dipsy, this whole area has got, it does have a level of community and that's because there are places like the Michigan. It's, it's a really fun date night activity. I know that anyone that brought me on a date here would get major points. I see young couples all the time beginning their Michigan theater love affair, basically, either if each, with each other or the theater. So, 2008. Our first unofficial date, it was the first time we ever did anything, just the two of us. And it was February and it was snowing like crazy. I just remember kind of sitting in the theater, we were talking beforehand, whispering because it was like in a cathedral. <laughs> I think people bring their dates here to impress them because uh, it's just a grand, beautiful place. So it definitely shows that that person has good taste if they come to the Michigan Theater. I'd like to introduce our tour guide for the Michigan Theater, Dan, who's going to explain the history. So we're on floor three of a three-floor parking garage, cost half a million dollars, and it holds now 160 cars. Where we're standing at, you can see here, this is the lower balcony right here. So imagine being on a lower balcony, having the whole balcony sweep up here behind you. You know, I've heard from a couple of patrons and a couple of moviegoers of that era who've walked by here that were my age probably when they were coming through, you know, in the late 20s and 30s. And they said, this is where you brought your best date, the girl, that woman that you wanted to impress. This had the right mixture of charm and size. The reputation is one that even now lives on, even with holes punched in the walls, chandeliers missing, birds flying around, moisture in here. So I went on the tour to the Michigan Theater in Detroit, and just to think that were it not for the community, we, we could have very easily had the same fate. 